What goes on guys, we're here again with another review and today we're gonna be taking a look at the Migos eight inch clothed figure of the man, the myth, the Excelsior filled legend, Stan the Man Lee. Now, I never got the Marvel Legends Stan Lee. I thought it was way overpriced for what you were getting. Um, so I waited and then they revealed this figure and I think this looks cooler. Like, I like him with the retro cloth. I think that works for him. I love the packaging that he comes in. If Before you guys are going to ask, I did open it already. So I kind of tucked him back in there. Um, I like this packaging. I like this figure better. I thought it was more reasonably priced. So, yeah. I went ahead and picked this one up at Target while I was on vacation this week. So, anyway... Let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. You can see him in there, you know, the retro carded style. You can see Stan Lee's POW Entertainment, eight inch figure, 14 inch, uh, 14 points of articulation. I don't know why it says 14 inch, but um, you get the Migos logo, or yeah, is it Migos? Yeah, Migo, uh, I was thinking like the rat band. Um, here's the barcode if you guys need this. Um, I love the art on the back, like the picture of Stan Lee in his office. You can see all the pictures of him on the side. Power Entertainment, again, at the top, the, the hook for the thing. But that is awesome. I wish this wasn't there, because I would, like, cut this out, hang that up with this figure. You can see the, the signature right there. And you see the figure inside, the Legends series, 17 and up. So, yeah, this is an awesome-looking figure in the package. But let's go ahead and take him out and take a closer look. So taking a closer look at this figure out of the package, I gotta say, I love this thing. Like, it is not the most articulated figure. It is not the scale that I usually collect, but it, it works for me in all the right ways. I think this thing is so much fun. Um, I think it was only 20 bucks. At least I bought it for 20 bucks, and I think that's I think this is worth 20 bucks. The soft goods are really high quality on this thing. Um, the articulation isn't terrible neither. Like, I, I really, really like this thing. But let's go ahead and take a look at the head. I think that head sculpt is pretty good. I really like the retro style for Stan Lee. Usually I don't, but I think it works for him. Um, you get, like, the gray, like, dry brush. You get the darker gray, light gray, and then a white dry brush over the whole thing. The glasses are sculpted on, but I think that works. Kind of like the Egon from the Ghostbusters Plasma series. But I think that works for him. You get the dry brush on the mustache, too. The smile... I love it with the wrinkles on the top. I think it looks great. It looks really good to me. Um, moving on down, there's not much to talk about because it is soft goods, but the soft goods are super high quality. You could take them off. So if you want to take off the jacket, I'm not taking off the rest of his clothes, but if you want to take off his jacket, you can do so. Take it off through the front. It's just simply Velcroed on the back. And then you could have like the... You know, just like collared shirt look for Stan Lee, which I think also really works for him. Um, you just got to watch like where it pinches the, the cloth, but I think that also really works for him. I took a I took a couple pictures of him without the jacket on, kind of like with the jacket over his shoulder kind of thing. Um, so I think that's awesome. Moving down to the pants, they look really nice too. Um, really high quality pants and they, they don't really hinder articulation. And then going down to the feet, he's got his white shoes that he always wore. Um, mine's got a little scuff on the right leg, but it's not that big a deal for me. No peg holes on the bottom of his feet because these feet, these shoes actually come off, um, fairly easy. And then you have like his feet down there, the Stan Lee dogs, but, um, they stay on good. He stands really nice, but, um, let's go ahead. He doesn't come with any accessories unless you want to count the jacket, but let's go ahead and take a look at his full range of articulation. So taking a look at Mr. Lee's articulation, his head does not move up or down. It is just a swivel. I'm a little upset about that. I guess that's like the thing that I would have liked to fix or change about this figure the most, but it's not that big a deal. The shoulders will move outwards that much. They're on like the string thing because this is basically a doll. So they're on the string thing, but they can move outwards that much. They can rotate kind of around, but you got to like pop it back into the socket sometimes when you move it out. It's not that big a deal. It can be a little frustrating, but not terrible. Single jointed elbow that moves in that much. So you get 90. Then you get a wrist swivel and hinge. Um, so that looks nice. You get a ball joint at the bottom, which you can see, like I said, it's kind of like a Ken doll, but it, it'll hold the pose. You can crunch forward a little bit, crunch back a little bit. You can swivel 
and you get a good pivot there. So I'm okay with this. I think this works nice. Um, the hips are going to move outwards that um, full splits. So that's pretty awesome. He'll kick forward that much. Again, there's strings, so they might kick back a little bit um, forward that much. Backwards all the way. You do get a swivel there, which is really nice. Single Jordan knee that moves in just a tad bit more than 90. And then a hinge at the ankle. No pivot. But I don't need Stan Lee doing, like, crazy poses and stuff. It'd be funny. But in reality, he really doesn't do that. So I think this is more than enough for Stan Lee. So let's go ahead and compare him to some of his creations. So getting Stan Lee out in a normal pose. I'm just going to pose him next to some classic marvel heroes um some he created some he did not but you know whatever we, we we associate him with marvel um here he is next to the odinson himself thor iron man that's the these are the 80th anniversary versions of these characters he is an eight inch retro cloth meaning that he's eight inches so he's taller than both of them um, there's like a little fuzz. He's taller than both of them, but it's it's okay. Uh, for some reason, it kind of works in my head, so I'm okay with that. So there he is next to them. Um, as I promised, I got a ton of comparisons here. I got the 80th anniversary Captain America with some additional accessories, the straps, and the uh, the movie shield because the shield that he came with freaking sucked. Um. There he is next to Cap. He's a lot, he's a lot taller. There, Stan Lee's a lot taller than Cap. And then we have Wolverine with modded claws. I put on the movie claws. I thought that looked better. There he is next to Wolverine. Obviously, he's taller than Wolverine. He's, everybody's taller than Wolverine. Um, here he is next to the 80th anniversary Hulk. Um, he's not bigger than Hulk. Let me stand Hulk straight up, but he is not bigger than Hulk, but he's not much shorter than Hulk neither. Hulk's just um, wider as well. And then here he is with the, I think this was the retro card, Black Widow. So yeah, he looks pretty cool next to them. Taking these out, you gotta put him next to his main man. Pete Parker. Peter Parker. You know, you gotta put him next to Spidey. Um, he's a lot taller than Spidey. Um, but that's okay. And then, just for the final comparison, I put him next to the classic Thanos. And I think he looks pretty cool. Like, I think, you know, he's obviously taller than them, but I think it works. Especially if you take your pictures right and you put them in the display the right way i think it'll look cool so I'm, I'm okay with that so you may be asking yourself and what's your final thoughts on this figure and i gotta say i'm pleasantly pleased with it um i knew i was gonna like it but i think i like it a little bit more than i initially perceived i would like i thought it was like you know gonna be kind of less articulated than it is i didn't think i was gonna like the head sculpt as much and for some reason I'm really digging the packaging that it came in. I love seeing um, Stan Lee posted up there. I think that's awesome. So yeah, I think this figure's awesome. The cloth is really high quality. Like I said, there's more articulation than I initially thought. Um, he looks cool with my Marvel Legends. I mean, obviously he's bigger and he shouldn't be that big, but you know, whatever. You know, maybe he's like a, a god who created the entire Marvel Universe. But you know, I think it's awesome. I'll probably have him display with my random Marvel characters, like my, my, uh, I have like a giant Marvel display of like all Marvel heroes with, uh, three villains in the front, um, Thanos, Doctor Doom, and Apocalypse with like a ton of heroes surrounding it. You can check my, on my Instagram, my view of like my room. It's actually changed a lot since then, but, um, you can see the display there, but I also have like a little sub display of like random Marvel figures. I'll probably throw him in there. So yeah. Bottom line, after I'm done rambling, I really like this figure. If I was to give it a rating, I'd probably give it an 8.5 out of 10. I'm The only thing is, I would like an ankle pivot and a head hinge. That's about it. I don't expect super articulation. Single joints are fine with me, but an ankle pivot always helps. 
and a head joint would have been really nice. But other than that, it's an awesome figure. So that's all I got for today. If you would be so inclined, I would really appreciate a little bit um, of love on the video. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It's always much appreciated. I've come a long way so far in the short amount of time that I've been on here. So it's much appreciated. If you want to see a ton of pictures of this guy, please go follow me on Instagram at Zach Toys. Um, I post a lot of pictures and most more content there. But that's all I got for today. See you all in the next one. Peace.